In the desolate expanse of a Texas night, I found myself alone at a used car lot, surrounded by a sea of abandoned vehicles. It was a necessary evil, as I had urgent documents to process before dawn, the weight of my boss's expectations bearing down upon me. Little did I know that this seemingly mundane task would plunge me into a nightmarish dance with the unknown. As the moon ascended, casting its eerie glow upon the lot, the air grew heavy with anticipation. Strange occurrences punctuated the silence I caught glimpses of headlights flickering to life, and the engines of ancient vehicles sputtered to life with desperate attempts to start. Each incident sent a shiver down my spine, raising the hairs on the back of my neck. Arming myself with a feeble flashlight, I ventured into the dimly lit maze of cars, my heart pounding in my chest. The night seemed to conspire against me, cloaking its secrets in a shroud of impenetrable darkness. Yet my resolve remained unbroken, fueled by a curiosity that bordered on recklessness. As I approached the first vehicle, its headlights casting an ethereal glow, I noticed nothing amiss. The engine remained dormant, its silence a mocking whisper in the night. I moved from car to car, searching for any sign of disturbance, but each one appeared innocuous, concealing their secrets with practiced ease. Returning to the office, my heart sank as I beheld a scene of chaos. Papers were strewn across the floor, furniture overturned as if a tempest had swept through the room. Yet my belongings remained untouched as if the intruders had sought something other than material wealth. Dread gripped my soul as I pieced together the unsettling truth. The disturbance in the lot, the inexplicable engine revving, and the disarray in my office, it was not the work of common thieves. No, something far more sinister had infiltrated my world, leaving behind only questions and a lingering unease. The hours stretched on, the night growing colder and more foreboding. Shadows danced on the periphery of my vision, whispering secrets that I dared not comprehend. Time lost meaning as I grappled with the realization that I was not alone in this forsaken place. Dark forces lurked, their intentions unknown, but undeniably malevolent. As the first rays of dawn peeked over the horizon, a sense of relief mingled with exhaustion. I emerged from the maze of cars, my spirit battered but unbroken. The night had exacted its toll, leaving scars that would forever remind me of the terrors I had faced. But the true horror was yet to come. Returning to the office, I found everything restored to its rightful place. Papers neatly stacked, furniture upright, no trace of the chaos that had consumed the room. It was as if the events of the night had been erased, leaving behind only the lingering scent of unease. With trembling hands, I gathered my belongings, desperate to escape this twisted realm. As I closed the door behind me, I couldn't help but glance back, my gaze fixated on the now serene office. It was then that I realized the true horror lay not in the chaos I had witnessed, but in the realization that it was not a mere nightmare. It was a warning, a glimpse into a world where reality and the supernatural intertwine. Haunted by that night's events, I vowed never to return to that forsaken car lot. The shadows may forever hold their secrets, but I had glimpsed enough to know that some mysteries are better left unsolved. And as I ventured into the daylight, I carried the weight of that knowledge, forever changed by the darkness that had claimed me for a single harrowing night. The decision to move to Texas had seemed like a fresh start, a chance to leave behind the ghosts of the past. Little did I know that the Lone Star State would unveil a chilling encounter that would test the limits of my courage. It began on a desolate stretch of highway as I embarked on my journey to a new life. The road stretched out before me, an endless ribbon cutting through the barren landscape. The fading light of day bathed the surroundings in a somber glow, casting long shadows that danced along the edges of my vision. As I drove, my eyes caught a strange silhouette in the distance, lurking on the fringes of the road. Intrigued yet cautious, I pulled over far from the enigmatic figure, my heart pounding in my chest. Stepping out of the car, I yelled, commanding the mysterious shape to depart. But to my horror, it remained rooted in the earth, unyielding to my demands. 
It was as if the darkness had claimed it, refusing to release its grasp. For an agonizing hour, I stood there, wrestling with fear and curiosity. The silhouette taunted me, a macabre sentinel haunting the depths of the night. With each passing minute, my resolve wavered, but something deep within me urged me to press on, to unravel the enigma that held me captive. Summoning every ounce of courage, I resolved to continue my journey, to face the specter head on. As I approached, the headlights of my car illuminated the figure, revealing a lifeless mannequin adorned in a tattered cloak. It was a mockery, a cruel prank staged by mischievous local children who resided nearby. The relief washed over me, mingled with a tinge of frustration at their audacity. How could they toy with the fears of weary travelers, subjecting them to such torment? Though their intentions were mischievous, their actions bordered on the sinister, blurring the line between harmless pranks and psychological torment. In that moment, I realized that the true horror lay not in the specter on the road, but in the darkness that resides within us all. The children had tapped into our primal fears, exploiting them for their amusement. Their callous disregard for the emotional toll they exacted left me questioning the nature of humanity itself. Leaving the unsettling scene behind, I continued my journey with newfound wariness. The road unfurled before me, its twists and turns mirroring the complexities of life itself. Yet, I carried with me the lessons learned from that night never to underestimate the shadows that lurk in the hearts of others and to remain vigilant against the insidious games that people play. Texas greeted me with open arms, its vast landscapes and vibrant communities offering solace from the ghosts of that fateful encounter. But the memory of the specter on the road would forever linger, a reminder that even in the pursuit of a fresh start, darkness can find its way into our lives. And as I settled into my new home, I vowed to be a beacon of light, to dispel the shadows that threaten to consume us. For in the depths of the human spirit, there is a resilience that can withstand the darkest of nights, a resilience that can transform even the most harrowing experiences into sources of strength and wisdom. It was a moonless night in the heart of Texas when I found myself alone in the desolate parking lot of a local store. The flickering fluorescent lights cast eerie shadows, heightening my unease. As I approached my car, a figure emerged from the darkness, a stranger with a haggard face and eyes that seemed to hold secrets beyond comprehension. The stranger's voice was a low, gravelly whisper as he began to speak a tale that sent shivers down my spine. He spoke of a local bandit, a man known only as the Midnight Marauder, the mere mention of his name invoked fear in the hearts of those who knew his legend. The Midnight Marauder, the stranger revealed, had been a notorious criminal in life, terrorizing the town with his ruthless acts. But it was in death that his malevolence truly thrived. The bandit had made a pact with dark forces, binding his soul to the earthly realm. Now, he roamed the night, seeking fresh victims to satisfy his insatiable hunger for chaos. As the stranger's tale unfolded, doubt clawed at the edges of my mind. Could this be nothing more than a figment of a deranged imagination? Yet, the intensity in the stranger's eyes and the chilling conviction in his voice left me unsettled. I hesitated, torn between dismissing his story as pure fiction or succumbing to the pull of curiosity. With a mixture of trepidation and skepticism, I left the parking lot and began my drive home. The winding roads seemed endless, each passing mile amplifying the weight of the stranger's words. Doubt lingered like an unwelcome companion, whispering insidious thoughts in the recesses of my mind. As the headlights pierced the darkness, casting fleeting glimpses of gnarled trees and tangled undergrowth, I saw a flicker of movement in my peripheral vision. My heart stuttered in my chest as I slowed the car, my eyes fixed on the figure emerging from the shadows. Panic surged through my veins, but I was paralyzed, trapped in the gaze of the supernatural. Time ceased to exist as the midnight marauder approached, his footsteps echoing with a discordant rhythm. His voice, a hollow whisper, filled the air, recounting the atrocities he had committed in life and the horrors he had wrought upon the town. In that macabre ballet of shadows, I became entangled in the marauder's curse. 
the world blurred, reality twisting and warping as the boundaries between life and death dissolved. I could feel the tendrils of his malevolence wrapping around me, suffocating my very essence. With a surge of willpower, I broke free from the marauder's trance, my fear transforming into determination. I sped away, leaving behind the haunting specter that had threatened to claim my soul. But the echoes of that encounter lingered, etched into the depths of my being. The Midnight Marauder's curse had left an indelible mark on my psyche. The shadows danced at the corner of my vision, and the night became a tapestry of nightmares. I questioned my sanity, forever tormented by the knowledge that evil could manifest in the most unexpected of forms. The tale I had heard on that fateful night became my burden a reminder that the veil between the living and the dead is fragile, and that some secrets are better left concealed. The Midnight Marauder's legacy lived on, a chilling testament to the darkness that resides in the human soul. But as I walked the path of uncertainty, I vowed to carry the weight of that encounter, wary of the mysteries lurking in the night, forever haunted by the enigmatic figure that crossed my path on that desolate Texas road.